Yeah, so it feels like we're pretty out of the loop on this show, considering that when I first started doing research, I thought we were still dealing with the people from La Casa de Papel. Yeah, no Rio or Denver. I was really sad about that. Yeah, or Money Heist, however you want to say it. But they still use them in or use Rio in the cover of the Netflix yeah. thing when you click it. So it makes it seem like you should be there. But it's always like mismarketed, right? Like I remember there was that, there was that like poster of him where he's like naked strutting through the halls, like smiling. And, and that's look- mismarketing? From what I hear, there is tons and tons of gay sex in this show. Oh, no, there is. But like that, that was sounds meant like a, perfect marketing. Then it was a comedic cover. And this tries to tackle all serious subjects. And it seems like every single like show that we've done, every single teen drama is like been thrown into this one. Like one of us is lying. It has a murder mystery plot, just like this one does. Sex education in the sense where one of the characters, like the principal is really strict. Well, one of us is lying also is funny. <laughs> How? Like, the kid got in front of the... And just started swearing out the teacher when her friend died. Um, this is this is not a comedy. This y- is... This yeah, I'm not doubting that. I'm not doubting that this is a soap opera. Yeah, but this is like, one of us is lying, sex education, rebel day, cruel summer, controls... Well, rebel day also is, like, so soapy it is, or so, well, so bad it's funny, or used to be. Yeah, well, this... But this is like, I'm saying that they have similar plot lines here. The show that, that I've heard shows. it mostly compared to is 13 Reasons Why. Yeah, because it has a murder mystery plot line, much like season three. It reminded me of like the Who Killed Bryce storyline that they went with. Because of the sexual assault and the redemption of a character who may have committed it, right? Right, yeah. With Felipe. It's, uh, yeah, Felipe. He's the main character of the show. And the first like, He is not the main ca- He might be the he, main he character like a, of this episode. But like, is there a main character for the overall show? I mean, Samuel's been there the longest. He's There's only two characters from the original cast. Okay, wait. So there's Samuel and then... Is and it Omar. Patrick? Oh, okay. Omar. Um, <laughs> yeah, Omar we the barely next see. Two, the next two longest vets are Rebecca and Kaye. Okay, so when did Rio and Denver leave then? Like, okay, so the original cast, most of them left at the end of season three. And there's a strong consensus, very strong consensus, that that is when the show should have ended and sort of... So, like, kind of like Skins. 100% like Skins. 100% like any show that kind of uh, releases its original characters after and tries to reboot itself a little bit. Mm -hmm. But it, it feels like Netflix loves its audience it wants to keep the international train moving like the <laughs> yeah it just it just it doesn't want to let go of a show like this that's why it's already been well renewed. it still has yeah. a huge audience though right like yeah like season four which only came out last year or so it broke records for i think it was the highest watch season uh, out of all of them yeah because i think people were so pumped up from the previous ones and it had finally reached a level where it was or maybe they just m- promoted it more like it was on the top of people's pages mm-hmm. more but yeah people tuned in for that one and it seems like for the most part we're disappointed because again okay so let's just get back to the plot of the <laughs> show for a second okay you're dealing with another high school right yeah it's supposed to be made up of people either who have scholarships to get into this school, but mostly are just wealthy uh, lineage. Remind me of Gossip Girl, the the remake. It 100% reminds me of Rebel Day because with Rebel Day, it is supposed to be this highly elite school as well. But the thing I don't understand is how parents, after multiple scandals and murders at one place, still think that that is a better option than even public school. None of the parents in this show are like are but good, they're though. paying out arms and legs to send their kids here, where inevitably their kids are probably going to die. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that we don't see a lot of parents. The only parent we saw in this episode was Ivan's parent, who is a new character. Yeah, there's went. not a lot of adults in the show. Yeah, right. There's it, there's the principal. Did you see the principal? There's a, yeah, there is the principal, and then there's also is he doing anything shady? Uh, he's like I said, he's like the sex education uh, person, like school runner from season three this season. Where it's oh, like, so the bad guy. Yeah, he's he's like very very strict. He's like like he's stopping people from doing TikTok dances in the hallway, and he's also like enforcing social distancing but like to, so COVID, to an extreme COVID is big yeah and tiktok is big yeah <laughs> in, in this show so i mean that seems pretty realistic it's, no but it's to an extreme like extent like yeah, he's making it's exaggerated it, right and then just like skins like you were talking about that was an exaggerated version of teenage life as well what this show has been hit on especially this season is its reliance on 
uh, not just soapiness, but basically just everybody wanting to get laid yeah, constantly. Just yeah. sex, sex, sex. Homework, no. Sex, No, constantly. there's yeah, there's not one <laughs> scene where we see a character doing homework or, like, trying to study or anything like that. Patrick, I, throughout most yeah. of this episode, just is having sex with uh, either Omar or he's trying to get in bed with Ivan. It's really weird, really, like, kind of off-putting, just the fact that that was his whole storyline. And it's not like the original, sh- like, first few seasons didn't have its fair amount of partying, its fair amount of portrayal of people just getting right, like in season two, laid all the time. Uh, in season two, I'm sorry, I keep on using they're like Acosta de Papel's names like Rio gets in like a motorcycle accident at the very beginning of season two right or something like really drastic uh, yeah I mean something drastic happened here right right but nothing that like exciting is what I'm saying so if someone had just like died been murdered <laughs> in this episode you would have enjoyed it more you do see a dead body but yeah it's one of those things where it's like i know it's going it's to take the full season for them to finally get to uh-huh and very little you like, find out who it is i think a, oh no actually it might be until way later i'm not sure i don't know spoilers okay but yeah it starts off and we see that felipe he goes up to i believe like a teacher her name is kaya they're both at like this you think kaya's a teacher she's a janitor she's a janitor okay all i knew is that she wasn't a student but he goes up to her at this nightclub and he's like... student Okay, <laughs> ex-student. But how do you confuse her as a teacher if she's, like, walking around with a mop? If she's not teaching any classes? She, she doesn't walk around with a mop at all in this episode. So she doesn't actually do any cleaning? No. She just walks around and talks in to fact, the students? In fact, at the end of the first... Does she ep- hit on the students? Uh, well, no. But at the end of the <laughs> first episode, she sends out, like, an announcement. So that's what made me think she was a teacher. Like, she's literally doing video announcements at school. Okay. But at the very... Maybe she got a promotion since season four. I don't know. At the beginning of the episode, Felipe tries to, like, they buy her champagne. There was some beef that happen between them i feel like at the end of season four because they kind of address i think he's trying to win her over a video came out about felipe that said okay this guy is an asshole because he i think assaulted again yeah that that happened because that happens right so he's trying to get people in his corner well yeah what happens is like the nightclub completely like goes out of uh, i was gonna say goes out of battery like the lights turn off and then there's a video power goes out yeah the power goes out there's a video projected on the wall yeah and it's a this this sounds exactly like control z yeah, yeah, that's why I put it there. Control Z and SCOM. <laughs> no, 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 that video thing. Because at the end of the season, they had the person, the yeah. bad guy, disclosed because there was a video of him on the roof that I think was a live stream that was being played downstairs in the party for everybody to right, see that yeah. the guy was a trash can. Well, it, it, <laughs> like throughout the whole entire like thing in Control Z, it's the fact that like he's always releasing videos. But are you on Felipe's side for any reason? Like people were really, the, the reception here was that there was a lot of defense for Felipe. That's what a lot of fans were. There's not There's not a lot. Like, he's being pushed in the hallways. He's getting, like, golden scissors that say a message, like, castrate yourself. The only defense he's getting is from Isadora, who I think is a new character this season. She's really she trying. Is. She's trying to push um, Kayen because apparently, the, uh, I guess the janitor has a lot of sway over people to, like, try and defend him. Because- Again, she is one of the vets. So... Right. I guess she's there and she she does have clout. <laughs> yeah, so that so that's like what uh Isadora is trying like her hardest to get Kayan to do, basically be like, uh, you know, I'm going to defend Felipe. So. But why? You know, I really wasn't able to tell that much. A lot of things that the characters did like this episode didn't really make a lot of sense. Okay. Get For in example, on that. Like yeah. Ivan is continually surprised whenever he's coming home, whether it's like at the beginning of the day or after. Ivan's school. also new. Ivan's yeah, Ivan's the new character. Where he comes back and he sees that his dad is throwing parties, but that's the only thing we see his dad do. Like, are we supposed to feel bad episode. for Ivan yeah, because his dad is throwing parties? Like, but, he, but also then like they try the writers try to make it seem like Ivan's dad is a cool dude. There's a really random scene where okay, I should probably get into like the Ivan. Um, Patrick, Patrick storyline. Oh, Patrick, yeah. Yeah, because Ivan randomly in the middle of the episode goes up to Patrick and is like, hey, do you know where the showers are? And then Patrick's like, yeah, let me direct you. So when they make it to the showers, then suddenly Ivan strips right in front of Patrick. Yeah. So I've heard that in the show that we've already said is like very, uh, I guess, gay positive, but more, more people have talked about the fact that it's too fan fiction almost. Yeah, well, it just didn't make sense when Ivan literally tells Patrick, I'm not gay, then strips right yeah. in front of him, and then they shower together. I think some of the writers are actually trying to represent characters no, look, I to can, an exaggerated extent. I can you know? understand them <laughs> trying to put that storyline in there. Scom, but season is, three, yeah, yeah. was almost exactly like that, and they were able to do it in a really good way, but here it just came across as like, 
like what like patrick we already see in the episode is i think with omar he is. like he has sex with him in this episode okay but like th- ivan and him go like at the very end of the episode to ivan's house his dad's still throwing a party and they're like crazy parties with a ton of people downstairs dancing and what so you shouldn't be watching this really for the plot is what i'm kind of (laughs) gauging you should be watching this if you just like like the characters well the weird thing was is that their plan patrick and ivan's plan i thought that they were going up to the room to have sex but no they were going to literally i don't mean figuratively literally sleep with each other they were both going to go to sleep in the same bed okay didn't make a lot of sense. Because like, they were just worn out from the day. Well, they were, like, stripping down. Again, how does this go back to the murder, though, that was going to happen? You know, I, at the very beginning, I was interested when Samuel, because it's Samuel who's, like, inside of a police station being, like, questioned, like, are you okay with the statement you just gave? And he's, like, and then, like, he kind of is stalling a little bit, and then he goes into the intro after we see a dead body. But that doesn't play a part in this episode until the very end when, like, they try to tie it back in, and Samuel, like, is back in the police station, and he's like, yes, I'm okay with the statement I gave. Hmm. Except for that, that murder plot line really does not come back into play in this first episode. It just seems like it's taken such a sidebar to the relationship stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's, uh, it's like half the reason I think, or maybe even most of the reason people watch a show like this is for the mystery aspect I mean, of I'll, I'll say that, like, like... I give 13 Reasons Why as much crap as you do. <laughs> at least there was, like a weird stuff trying to solve the murders right. each year but the thing here is that like it seems like in the prior seasons mencia is another character that we're not introduced to she's been in previous seasons at least season four i think but it's, like she's talking about how she was also like a victim that was raped mm-hmm. and it's like that at least i'm you know that seems like at least there's been stuff that's an interesting that's happened in season four when I did the research for Rebel Day, I was so excited when I saw, like, the production. Like, the whole story, it just, like, fell into place. This literally has nothing, really. It's just, like, we're, we wanted to make a show, we made a show. Um, but between Rebel Day, or Rebel Day Way, uh, 13 Reasons Why, Skins, Scum, which one of them is the biggest soap? And this, yeah. I would say probably this is the biggest soap. So it's just, just, like, is the acting good? No, not really. <laughs> Like it feels you're not like, you're not saying anything super crazy. There are some fans who are being like, oh, I, I like the the first episode, the premiere. But again, the majority of people are like, can the show just die? It's because there was nothing except for that murder plot. Which again, the first three minutes, I was like, oh okay, it's that because it's called I Killed Him Too, which makes me think to myself like, this is going to be an interesting episode. That is the name of the episode. yeah, but it, that's only because at the very end, Samuel like admits the fact that he's killed someone, and I I don't know who that's supposed to be because we already saw that Samuel in this episode is friends with Felipe. Hmm. So. Is it time that shows just stop switching casts? Yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of people would be a lot happier. The thing about Skins was the first two seasons were the best, right? And I'm trying to think of other ones right now. That I mean, Skins is like on. the biggest example. But I'm talking about any other show. Um, they, they do do the Degrassi thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I think that also, like, a lot of teen shows have to take out, like, this murder. Because I don't think Elite was always like that, right? In season one, Elite wasn't, uh, like, a murder mystery, Oh, right? 100% it was. It was. Yes. Okay, so every season is just a murder. Yeah, they've been, mo- I think, over five bodies at this point that have shown up. That's what makes me think. Yeah, then why have the parents? I would never <laughs> want to attend that school. Like, as a student, <laughs> I would think, especially that group of friends that it keeps on happening to. I would try it's to just stay one, as, It's just one group. Well, Samuel's <laughs> connected to basically all of them. At this point, it's, it, and I think one of the girlfriends is too, because it's not just, it's not just gay sex the whole time. There are girls there and, yeah. and they are having, yeah. they are having relationships as well. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, yeah. That's why I was saying Mencia. She is there an she, Ari character or something? Ari, yeah. Samuel People and Ari get back hate together. hate her. We, I, we barely saw her this episode. The okay. only part that we saw was one scene where Samuel, for some reason, it really was out of nowhere, decides to get back together with her. I guess they broke up in a previous season. Probably. but like, Apparently she cheats on a lot of people. Yeah, but I, well, I didn't get any of that. We episode. missed its heyday is what I'm saying. I'm, I'm sad that we didn't get a season three episode or something. Because, like, people I would, are, Yeah, I really wanted to see Rio or Denver. I was really excited. And I don't I think that they five. either of them made it to season three. I think they were out by season two. But it's weird because they have one, two, three, 
and then four is when they did the re thing, and then they had these short story vignettes that came out where like people like got, web series. Well, the way I would compare it is probably like you remember when the Walking Dead game decided to go off and do offshoot like yeah. one off little teeny uh, episodes to kind of yeah, prepare for the next season. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't a web series because you didn't... I'm not talking about The Walking Dead show. I'm talking about The Walking Dead game. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, um, and then it's just to prep for the next season, and then you saw those characters show up in the next right. season. That's yeah, sort yeah. of what happened here. It kind of closed some of the story gaps, and, and uh, uh, the people were also not as huge a fan of those because they feel like the characters, kind of their personality shifted in the vignettes. Here are the characters. Uh, it just felt like they were marking off boxes, like the gay character, Patrick, the innocent victim, kind of like being accused of something big. That was also Philip. Um, Phil- the, the, Philip, Philip or Philippe. Yeah, yeah. there was the influencer. Is He's a prince, uh, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he says that in the episode, but I think that and they said, sent him to this school. Yeah, well, it's it's elite. I think he might have also gone. Oh, it's. I don't even think it's called elite. That's not the the show is called elite, but I think the school is like a lost. They refer they refer to it like the school oh. though, as elite. Like okay. they say that like this is an elite school. So I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's only like one adult walking around <laughs> for the most part. And then yeah, like I said, you have the principal who's too strict, which was just like the sex education character, the school runner for this season. So it just felt like they didn't really have any. There was no character that I saw that I was like, oh, they're different in any way. Mm-hmm. There was only one funny character introduction. Um, it was, I think, Mencia's, like, old girlfriend who, like, shows up to school late because the, like, school is so strict now where it's like you cannot show up, like, even one second late. Because so she, of COVID or because of all the murders? Because I would give him a pass for either one of those. I think that I think school it was, should be shut down at this point. <laughs> I mean, I think that it was Or just, take a year off or, or do something, maybe get rid of all the kids. I think like, it was, wait four years until all the kids have graduated, the, the class, and then be like, reset. You think, you think it was just a bad batch? That yeah, a bad <laughs> batch. That's what I'm getting at. It's just like, also, yeah, there's no way to be a participant in one of these shows, a character in one of these shows, without things turning terrible for you, it seems like. Yeah, I mean, I agree. <laughs> like, relationship-wise, so, like, mentally, you have to just be exhausted, if you were ever attending. So I don't yeah, know. Needless to say, my, if my high school was like this, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I would have made it. <laughs> if, if, if you walked into high school in freshman year <laughs> and you got like one-tenth of a dose of this, <laughs> say, but, uh, is there a tutor here? No, no, no. Put your shirt on that <laughs> I was just asking for a tutor, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feels like in this show especially with patrick's thing also what yeah. is the point of patrick is he just i, I don't know because like the ending to that sleep around the ending to, to that storyline is that um ivan falls asleep in his bed yeah patrick isn't able to so he walks into the bathroom he starts jerking off. oh god okay all right no it's, i'm sorry it's just like what for real no yeah oh, no. no and then ivan's dad walks in on him doing that no and then, no. and then and then like but like ivan's dad is kind of cool about it and he's just like you should, you should come downstairs and you should like come join the party like there's a lot of girls and then he's like i'm gay and he's like there's a lot of guys and then ivan is like no i'm i'm cool and then ivan's dad was like okay well then keep going forget i was here <laughs> and then he so will you be watching the rest of the season <laughs> No. no 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 and i learned some bad news apparently money heist like ended i didn't know that i like finished off its series yeah but i'm like a couple seasons behind and that show also kind of found a cliff that it decided to well no but season five off of, what season five was its final season but oh actually the the imdb scores as they're not as low as you might think for the the, for, the first three seasons definitely had higher scores even one hitting i think or a couple hitting nines. Oh, okay um by the end like most of them are sevens and eights the last couple seasons, you you're in the mid sevens, if not lower. Well, the what main this thing seems have? to have is the messaging issue. Because right, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of kids these a lot of kids these days <laughs> are very aware, are very active with societal, uh, not just racism, but like uh, any sort of ism. Right, it's yeah. against it. Yeah. So kind the of like idea of making excuses for anyone who is a um, monster. And not in trying to like make excuses for people. There's right. such thing as the gossip girl effect, which is basically seeing people do scandals and liking as they get away with it because they're rich and famous. Right. But that's never really been the idea behind um, a lot of like the Rebel Day shows. You know, like, well, yeah. it's, it's always been the scandal part, but also people kind of falling 
because of that. I think the main problem with the show is that it was just really boring. They did the one thing that they were trying their hardest not to do. I feel like that's why they kept on trying to do things like TikTok dances and like every single character. Were the TikTok dances good though? They only showed it for one second and then someone only gets- Only for a second? Someone gets their phone taken away because they were filming the TikTok dances. It's <laughs> so, it, I mean, that would have worked, but they could have done it after the dance. Like they could actually make it entertaining if you saw some person <laughs> Just go it was, all out. It was in the middle of it, though. Especially if it's a fan favorite character. <laughs> I don't. I don't think anyone doing the. TikTok so if dance. it was just sex scene, TikTok dance, <laughs> sex scene, TikTok dance. <laughs> that that sounds like it's Euphoria. I haven't seen Euphoria, but that sounds like what Euphoria is. Well, I mean, it doesn't sound like the kids are learning much. But like, I don't think that Samuel in this uh, in this season actually killed anyone. I think that he's like hovering for someone. Hmm. Well, I can't. I can't speak to that. Because I know what happens at the end, but that's got its own controversy behind it. But we won't touch on that. You know, there's not really much else to say about the show unless you have anything. No, not really. I would give this like a maybe three out of ten. You know what? It was better. It was better than uh, Bel Air. I'll say that. So I'll oh, give it a three out of ten. Even three though out of ten. Yeah. So not one of your favorites. No. Okay. Well, thanks for listening. We'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one. Bye.